So question five states, state the following, the test for divergence. Uh, that's part A, part B, the integral test, part C, the comparison test, and then D, the limit comparison test, and then E, the alternating series test, then F, the ratio test, and then G, the root test. All right, so let's take a look at the solution of this uh, question five. So part A, so part A is a test for divergence. And so recall from the same video above is all, this is all from the series video right here. So whenever I say, uh, look, at, look at the one above, it's basically the last link. <laughs> all right, uh, let's go here. So, uh, so from the same video above, the test for divergence uh, right here. So if limit as n approaches infinity of a n does not exist, so if the limit of the sequence does not exist, or if the limit of the sequence a n is uh, equal to and is not equal to zero, then the series of the summation of the sequence sequence terms, so from uh, n equals one to infinity of a n is divergent. So that's the test. So if the limit of uh, the sequence does not exist, or it's not equal to zero. If it exists, for example, if it, the sum is, uh, let's say if the limit is equal to, th to uh, three, then you can be summing three to infinity. In other words, you're going to infinity. So you need to approach zero. Okay. So now let's look at part B. Part B is the integral test. So again, recall now from my earlier video, this one here is a different video. So infinite sequence series is the integral test and estimation of sums, uh, estimate of sums video. So the integral test, so suppose F, is a continuous positive de decreasing function. So it's a positive uh, decreasing and it's continuous on uh, the interval from one to infinity. And let a n, yeah, these uh, uh, sequence a n equals to uh, this function f of n. Then the series of uh, summation of n equals one to infinity of a n is convergent if and only if the improper integral uh, the integral from one to infinity is improper because there's an infinity symbol there. Uh, of f of x dx is convergent. In other words, yeah, if these terms right here, if you could write these terms as a function, then the limit of that function from uh, one to infinity of f of x dx is convergent. Uh, then the series of the terms is convergent. So n equals one to infinity. Uh, if it's not, yeah, so if the integral from one to infinity of f of x dx is divergent, then the uh, uh, then the series uh, is divergent. So the series from n equals one to infinity of a n is divergent. Yes, yeah, very, very interesting. And again, f has to be continuous and positive and decreasing right there. Basically, uh, the way it looks, uh, looking at it is, is if you have a function like this, a function like this, this is uh, f x, and this is x like that. So if it goes like this, if, if you can, uh, uh, if this is converging, yeah, instead of going to infinity, so if this area under the curve is converging, for example, if it goes all the way to zero, like that. And then, then basically what you gotta look at is the series. The series are gonna be the, the, the actual summation of the terms, like that. It's gonna look something like this. Like that. So yes, uh, very, very interesting. This number of series, you're looking at discrete values. This one is uh, uh, continuous values or infinitely small, continue, uh, infinitely small discrete values. Uh, yes, very, very interesting. So now let's look at part C, and part C is the comparison test. So recall from my earlier videos, a different video, so this is the series, this is a comparison test. So the comparison test, suppose that the series uh, summation of uh, AN and uh, the summation of BN, so these are series with positive terms. If the, uh, the summation of BN is convergent, and a n is less than or equal to b n for all n. So these terms are always smaller than this one, and this b n is a series convergent. The sequence terms are smaller for a n. Uh, then the summation a n uh, is also convergent. So you're comparing it with this one here. Uh, but if this is divergent, so if uh, if the summation of b n is divergent and a n terms are all greater than the b n for all n, then the summation of a n is also divergent because well the terms are bigger than this one and this, this one is divergent and then for part a uh, the end uh, for part i the uh, the terms are smaller of a convergent series so that would be convergent all right so look at part d part d is going to be the limit comparison test and afterwards alternating series the ratio and root test so let's take a look at this. the limit comparison test so as recall from the same video above so in other words these comparison tests right there the video so the limit comparison test yeah, so suppose that the summation of a n 
and the summation b in our series with positive terms. All right, so those are positive terms. So if the limit as n approaches infinity of a n over b n is equal to a number c, where c is a finite number and c is greater than zero, then either both series converge or both diverge. Now that's a very interesting set. It's basically, it's, a, it's like a multiple of each other. So they're just copying each other. So this converges, the other one converges. If, if it's a number here, that's greater than zero. And then part E is that alternating series test. So recall from my earlier video, here's this uh, from this different video. So these are the series, this is the alternating series uh, test right there. So the alternating series test. If the alternating series, and uh, yeah, this series right here, so uh, from n, the summation from n equals one to infinity of this negative one to the power of n minus one, so that it's always gonna be uh, alternating for positive and negative. So if you put in uh, n equals one, that'll be one minus one is zero, so negative one to the power of zero is, is one. If you put in two, that'll be two minus one is one, so negative one to the power of one is negative one. So you're gonna, and then this is bn. So you're gonna have something like this, b1 minus b2 plus b3 but minus b4, et cetera, plus minus, et cetera. And where bn in this case is greater than zero, all, uh, just so that all the all the negative size is based on upon this term only. It's right here. And so this uh, so if this series satisfies uh, i, which is b n plus one is less than or equal to b n for all n. In other words, it is decreasing. So this one uh, b three is less than b two, and then b four is less than b three. So it's, it's basically decreasing like that for all n and the limit of uh, as n approach infinity of bn is equal to zero so this approaching zero then the series is convergent and you can see this uh, visually yeah so if it's uh, if the limit is approaching zero and if it's always decreasing so for example if you start off with the uh, zero right here so now if you have b1 here that's this term right here so b1 let's say it's this size and it's also positive positive so the partial first partial sum is s1 right here and now you're going to be subtracting by a number smaller than b1. So you're going to subtract by b2. So then you're going to go backwards now. You're going to go all the way backwards here. So the partial sum is going to be s2, which is smaller than s1. So s2 less than s1. And now you're going to be adding by a number that is going to be smaller than b3. So for example, all the way across here. Now you're going to have this one right here. s3 right there is greater than s2, but it's less than s1 there you're always going to be smaller and smaller. And then, and then if you go backwards now, you're going to be subtracting by numbers smaller than b3. You're going to go all the way across here. And then you're always going to keep getting smaller and smaller. And then goes back across here. And eventually you're going to go back all the way to this s value as b is approaching zero. So that's how you visually can see that alternating series uh, test right there. And now uh, part f is the ratio test. Part uh, uh, G is going to be the uh, root test. So let's take a look right here. So from recall from earlier videos, this is on the ratio slash root test. So the ratio test. If the limit, yeah, if the limit of as n approaches infinity of the absolute value of a n plus one divided by a n is equal to L, so it exists, and it's less than one, then the series uh, summation from n equals one to infinity of a n is absolutely convergent and therefore convergent. That's the absolute. A convergence theorem and uh if it's if it's l is greater than one so that if the limit is n approaches infinity of this ratio the absolute value of a n plus one divided by a n is equal to l greater than one or the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus one uh, divided by a n is equal to infinity so both of them are still going to be greater than one uh, then the series uh the summation of n equals uh, uh, from n equals one to infinity of a n is divergent and uh, lastly, part uh, III, or part three uh, of this ratio test. So if the limit is equal to one of the, from n, as n approaches infinity of absolute value of a n plus one over a n, so the ratio, uh, the ratio test is inconclusive. That is no conclusion could be drawn about the convergence or divergence of the summation of a n. So that's series right there. So if it's equal to one, we can't use it. Going for this part G, part G is the root test. So we go from the same video above this link right there. Uh, the root test. If the integral, uh, yeah, I mean, if uh, right here is part i. Yeah, so if the limit as n approaches infinity of the square root, uh, I mean, uh, nth root, not square root, so nth root of absolute value of a n is equal to l, and that's less than 1, then the series, uh, the summation from n equals 1 to infinity of a n is absolutely convergent and therefore convergent. So if it's absolute, 
using absolute values it converges it's same as um uh it, then, then that means it's also converging without the absolute value so i i part two so if limit as n approaches infinity of this nth root of absolute value of a n is equal to l is greater than one or if the limit is uh, goes to infinity so it does not exist uh right there then the series summation from n equals one to infinity of a n is divergent and then part three if uh the, if this limit of this n approaches infinity of the nth root of absolute value of a n is equal to one the root test is inconclusive similar to the ratio test like that 